This is a graduation season at the centre of controversy. A ceremonial moment here at Edinburgh University in a mess over a marking boycott. Caught in the crossfire, students like Will from the US. Obviously I'm one of um, several thousand students around the UK who um, have plans to go on to do postgraduate study um, but due to the ongoing marking and assessment boycott are um, graduating without a degree classification. Um, obviously there's been a lot of um, sort of stress and frustration around that um, and unfortunately has now um, started to impact our immigration status as well. Added stress for the very many foreign graduates wanting to continue studying here. They say rules require them to return home and reapply for a new visa. I mean, I'd have to pay, you know, upwards of about a thousand pounds to get flights back home to Wisconsin. Um, I mean, I have a job here. I've paid rent on a flat here as well. This is widespread and unprecedented. Ceremonies at 145 universities across the UK thrown into chaos in a row that's been rumbling on since April. Thousands of lecturers refusing to mark dissertations and assess coursework as they demand better pay. The employers need to address the disruption that we've seen in the university sector. It's been scandalous. We served notice for the marking and assessment boycott in April. We were talking about it in January. They've had months to resolve this and they've just failed to do so. Three, two, one, go! <laughs> University employers say the current cash offer is pushing institutions to their financial limits. It seems both sides will now plot their next move as the standoff intensifies. Connor Gillis, Sky News.